Eviction proceedings are moving forward in southeastern Wisconsin right after the CDC's ban expired just yesterday, Sunday. Yeah, resources like rent assistance and mediation could cut down on how many people end up on the streets. Our Jenna Sachs explains in tonight's Contact 6 report. Hi, Canadians. This is Amy with Mediate Milwaukee. When tenants and landlords want to avoid court, they turn to Mediate Milwaukee. We have a lot going on. Demand for mediation services has quadrupled over the last year and a half. Mediators help arrange payment plans, move out dates, and refer rent assistance. There's no judgment involved. Um, the mediator doesn't work as a judge to make a decision for the parties. We also don't advocate for one party or another. The availability of mediation and rent assistance may help stem a tide in evictions in southeast Wisconsin after the expiration of the CDC's eviction ban. I don't think we're going to see the surge that everybody is fearing. The Apartment Association of Southeast Wisconsin encourages landlords to avoid court. Mediation first, I think people should look at that. There's no cost involved. It, it's less expensive than going to court. You get to a resolution faster than if you went to court. Milwaukee landlords are struggling with unpaid rent. Some have sold off properties. Tenants still have access to millions in rent assistance through the Community Advocates and Social Development Commission. Their first stop might be the new Milwaukee Rental Housing Resource Center, a partner of the Apartment Association and Mediate Milwaukee. Before COVID-19, mediation often took place at the courthouse. In light of the pandemic, it now mostly takes place by phone. On the surface, it seems odd that all these groups would be working together, but in reality, owners and renters are two sides of the same coin. You can't harm one side without the other side being harmed. We've definitely had a lot of calls today already. Mediate Milwaukee has this message for at-risk tenants. And I encourage everybody to reach out and not try to go it alone. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. Now, the bans lifting means eviction cases on hold with the court can also move forward. As for new cases today, we checked, and as of 5 p.m., online record showed only 12 new eviction filings in Milwaukee County today. We have resources for tenants and for landlords on fox6now.com.